Virgo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. Been meditating on it, Virgo. And uh, actually, in the last reading that I did, uh, it might even be the card on top. Yeah, this is the card that came out in the last reading. And the last thing it says here is wild card. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got hiccups. <laughs> I had them kind of a little bit since last night. <laughs> Hot sauce. They haven't, it hasn't really gone away. Longest I've had hiccups for. Anyway, so wild card was, I just did Taurus's reading. What The word wild card is just going around in my head and I'm like trying to meditate on it. Like, Virgo, what have we got for Virgo? Wild card, wild card. All right. All right then. My mind won't shut up about that. So that's your, that's your word. That's your key word. Wild card for Virgo, please. Let's have a look at that card again. Hold on. Portal. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards. Wild card. Wild card. Wild card. Wild card. All right, Virgo. Bear in mind, those these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's links to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You can only book a private reading with me if you come to my website. I'm not going to come to you. I'm not going to be up in your DMs or in the comments below. That's somebody who's trying to scam. There's a lot of scammers around. That's not me. You can only get me on my website, gentvtarot.com. It's in the description box below. Wild card for Virgo, please. Oops. Okay. Well, she's all he ever wants. She's the type I'd like to flaunt and take to dinner. Uh, I don't really know the lyrics, but she's a lady. Whoa, 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 she's a lady. Is that you, baby? Are you the lady? Or is this a little gentleman Virgo I'm talking to? Whoever is involved here, she's a lady. Um, very balanced person. We've got justice here. Very balanced person. See those scales? Could be even be a, a Libra. They're very, very balanced. But also, I, I sort of see that this is a, a situation legally that's kind of coming to a close, and you're going to come out on the good side of it. What's the wild card here then? Good news coming in. <laughs> They're together. Okay. So the uh, the wild card is you got some good news coming in. Something you weren't expecting. A love proposal where you kind of felt stuck and bored with your life things are suddenly moving forwards She's a lady. You know, like have you heard that song the way it begins it's like stomps me it's like damn that's that's a tune I may have possibly, not recently, I don't know, it just came into my head, I may possibly have listened to that beginning part of that song. Okay, rewind. And rewind. That's so good, I gotta rewind that again. Hold on, we can't listen to it yet. Rewind. Okay, let's, let's hear it through now. Yeah. 
Got some decisions to make here, Virgo. What? All right, option one, what's option two? Okay, your options are the world, you know. This is the world. It's pretty much one of the best cards in the deck. Um, this this one's like got some old dude in the middle of it. But... That looks not unlike Rambling Mike, actually. Anyone else agree? I, I just, just a thought, just a thought. A very handsome Rambling Mike. Um... You know, Mike, if you ever make your own deck, you, you kind of have to be in the cards. That, that would, that, just seeing that, that's, that's just a thought for Mike. Anyone else want to pass that along? Mike's making some cards. He's, 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 he should be on there. Anyway, back to Virgo. Your options here are the world. So we've got uh, in the... Uh, Right away, I have them around here. I'm not gonna look through them, it's gonna take me forever. There's a naked lady in the middle of a circle. And I sort of feel like, looking at that card in my mind, this is about, do I go for the option that's like, the way I see that is that this person's your world. They're very attractive, being the naked lady in the center of the center of attention the center of the universe. That's one of your options. Or we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse, which is a very emotionally insecure person, a very oh. codependent, uh, unhealthy person. What you need to know right now is, you know, where, where do you go with this? What are your options? I think that you're holding on to things that are we've got the four of pentacles in reverse this is about jealousy and holding on to things that are negative and not being able to let them go and anything else It's, a, it's an interesting point. So if you if there is any sort of like doubt in your mind about your options here, whichever ones they are, if there's any doubt in your mind, like let's let's say for the world option here, this is somebody who's very, very attractive to you, very um, very uh, kind of amazing. Is there is there some sort of thought in your at the back of your head that's like, oh, I don't really deserve something that awesome. Because you see, that's the law of attraction. If you're if you're kind of putting that energy out there that you're not good enough for them, then you're not, because that's the law of attraction. If uh, you're putting the energy out there that that's the kind of person that you're looking for, that's the energy that you want in your life, and you want to move forwards, and, and you deserve to be happy, with somebody that awesome and they deserve somebody as awesome as you then you know that's manifesting the right kind of thing that's the law of attraction if you're like they're not they're they're like way too amazing for someone like me <laughs> then that's what you're putting out there and that's the energy you're going to get back okay so if that's energy you're putting out there, then you're going to end up perhaps not being in the, the same relationship with a with a person from the past, but the same relationship with somebody new, exactly like it was with someone from the past. And this could even be with this same person. So you put the energy out there that you, you know, your life is a pattern and you keep repeating it then that's what you're going to do. I always go out with cheaters. You say something like that to yourself, everyone I've been out with is a cheater. It's what I attract, then that's what you're going to attract. 
if you're putting the energy out there that the past is the past and yep i've been through it i've been out with some humdingers but that's not the way the future's gonna look i'm manifesting in the best person my best friend the best lover i've ever had someone who's gonna make me laugh and someone who's gonna find me funny that's the energy that you're putting out there and you know all the positive things that you're looking for in a relationship i'm just you know throwing out a few things that i don't care about. then you know i don't know it just sort of makes sense right take a look into the law of attraction watch the secret or read it i don't know Anything else Virgo needs to know right now? If you're sort of thinking there, yeah, with the Nine of Cups in reverse, this is your wish fulfillment. If you're sort of thinking like, this is everything I ever wished for. Awesome. I'm nailing this. This whole manifesting thing. Woo, I'm awesome. Yeah, that's that's good energy. If you're sort of putting out there that I don't deserve this. I'm not good enough for this person. They're way out of my league. What are they doing looking at me? I always go for people who are complete psychos. <laughs> I always go for people who cheat on me. I always go for people who uh, are emotionally unavailable to me. Then that's what you're going to get, Virgo. That's the energy that you're... So you want to be kind of putting the energy out there that this is your wish fulfillment and this is what you're looking for. This is... This is the droids you're looking for, right? These are the droids you're looking for. All right, what's coming up in the near future? Five of Pentacles. Oh, nearly dropping all the cards there. Mm -hmm. Stifling yawn. Hold on, people. Mm. <sighs> Why am I stifling a yawn? Mm, weird sleep. I don't... Yeah. They're really weird sleeps. I woke up in the night holding a necklace. And the necklace was, was one I sometimes wear. <laughs> it must have been under my pillow or something. <laughs> I don't know why. I was holding on to it. And it's got Moldavite in it. I'm like, Jesus, no one having crazy dreams. I'm freaking holding Moldavite while I'm sleeping. If you don't know what Moldavite is, look that one up. It's like, whoa. <laughs> that is a whole lot of intense crazy shit. Oh, pardon. Sorry, sorry, algorithm. Ignore that word. Sorry, all people advertising on my channel. That was a naughty word. So, coming up in the near future. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles is a weird one. It's about sort of isolation, loss loneliness but it's also like you know being out in the cold and feeling like everyone else around you is having a really great time and you're not but maybe doors are starting to open and maybe Virgo doors are starting to open for you and it might be a good idea now if you've not been great with setting boundaries in your life in the past in relationships in the past if if you haven't it might be a great idea to figure out what your boundaries are in a relationship now we've got the eight of cups here it's about boundaries and walking away from things that are no good for you it might be a good idea for you to sort of figure out well what are my boundaries what am i willing to accept in a relationship and what am i absolutely completely not willing to accept figure that out so that you can have a very stable healthy relationship with somebody and you can come out in out of the cold now you know doors will start to open for you do you accept the challenge best you can hope for interesting two of pentacles in reverse you have two paths here virgo two very clear paths you're either gonna mess this up and live the rest of your life completely tormented that you did that And it's, this is about your choices. Are you going to keep 
following the same patterns? Or are you going to move forwards? And I still see that coming up in the near future with the two of pentacles in reverse as well. The best you can hope for is you have a kind of choice to make. Are you going to carry on being that person that you were? Or are you going to be who you are now? You know, it's pretty good to read the power of now. I didn't read it, I listened to an audiobook. But audiobooks are great. And I like them. Just saying. Decisions, decisions. Where, where to put your focus, you know? Your focus could be on having a really wonderful, happy, positive, abundant life, or it can be on what it was. And, and this is a just another damn horrible cycle to go through if you don't learn from the past. It's your wild card, isn't it? Which 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 way are you gonna go? Are you gonna are you gonna go for that wild card that's like, woo, yeah, happiness, yay, life's gonna be awesome. You're gonna let the past kind of get to you. You're gonna keep repeating the same old patterns. You know, it's time to time to move forward in your life. And this is what I see. Two options. The other person here, the star reversed. You don't think that you're good enough for this person. You think that Yeah, you don't, you think, you think that you deserve to just keep being treated badly because that's the way you've always been treated. You think that you being happy and being in a stable, uh, healthy relationship is with seven of cups in reverse. You think that that's all an illusion and you, you don't really deserve that. And if you're going to keep thinking that, then that's the pattern you're going to keep replaying. And you're going to be unhappy. And you're going to be four of ones in reverse. And you're never going to really... I don't know. I want to say gel with somebody. Because you're always going to keep repeating the same patterns. So, you know. What do you want? What are you looking for? Now I see kind of these two options here, but I don't know if that's two people. So what I'm going to do with the extended is I'm going to just ask for some advice from the universe on how to move forwards for you. I'm going to pull a five card spread, which is what's the overall vibe of the situation, your feelings, what you don't know, what you should do about it and the outcome and some guidance from the universe. But uh, let's read. Why is the four of wands in reverse here? There's just such a way forwards for you. There is such a way forwards to happiness. But if you, you, there is the absolute potential of you staying in, because we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse, we've got the King of Cups in reverse, you could stay in unhealthy, codependent, toxic relationships for the rest of your life. You could. That, you have that potential. And don't we all? Or you could, you know, learn from the past and move forwards and, and break the pattern and be with healthy awesome people that are damn good looking and great in the sack and uh, treat you with respect like you kind of deserve, right? This is the choices you make. Here we go. Let me pull you one of these, there we go. It's my cat stretching. I'm like, what's, what's this sound? <laughs> Have faith in your dreams, this came out for Taurus. Have faith in your dreams, need I say more? Um, and your love lyric is... Um, I 
good enough for you. Love you to death by typo negative. The beast inside of me is gonna get you, get you, get you. <clears throat> Total tune. If you don't know that tune, love you to death by typo negative. I'm gonna take this into extended. Uh, we can find that in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Bye!